I think I, I basically did every part of that solution in different chunks, but didn't do them in the same attempt. So like, I was like, where did I go wrong? And it was like, it was, and where I had gone wrong was that I'd, re, I'd restarted, but not, not replicated the beginning steps the same way, more or less. Want to hear a scary story? No, yes? Okay, fine. We're out of marshmallows. Ah! No! Uh oh. Wow, we are out of marshmallows. This, that wasn't a joke. He's major for real real at the moment. There we go. Those are all lit up. Whoops. I can't save that. <laughs> danger, danger. You need to go over, so I should have pushed them- Ah, Jesus. I should have pushed them all together from the get-go. Because I can push you on, then push the back two off. Then push the back one back on. Gotcha. Is that fire spinner? Oh yeah, we'll need a little bit of fire spinning, won't we? The only way to get this to the other side of the map is to rotate like that. There you go. Should be easy from here on out. Just do... Oops. Maybe not as easy. How do I light the other side of this one? Um, yeah, all the other stuff being in the way really limits your movement, actually. Ooh. Curious, though. Curious to see whether that leads to an important change. They basically just need to be rotated by a certain amount, so that when I move, bring it back down, it, something different will happen. Yep, that's more or less what needed to happen. Gotcha! It's a difficult, it's a difficult puzzle game to articulate when I'm playing. Like, it's, oh wow, what the hell's happening here? Look at the tiny cactus, cacti. In a lot of puzzles I can explain my thought process using actual nouns, but this one, <laughs> my thought process is like, no, this had to be over there, and then that, and then this, and it's like, it's very audio-visual audio in that you kind of need both at once. If you're just listening to this one, you can't tell what I'm saying, probably. So now we have magnets, which probably don't let go. Blippin? Oh. Well, that's flippin' annoying. Boing. And we win. So they flip over when they're not attached, but they don't flip over when they are attached, is what we learn here. So there's a new mechanic for our new 30-level world. Okay, new concern. How do you unmagnetize? That's how you unmagnetize. So you just leave the zone in which they will be attached. There we go. So that means that if I push a marshmallow against it, I can probably push an object off of a magnetized stick. So probably most forms of interference will fix the problem, basically. Sup. 
Right. Didn't think that one through. I need to cook both sides of this thing first. Or at least I need to cook both... Kind of? Ah. That's what's going on here. I need to take advantage of the fact that it's another thing that allows you to move one tile without rolling. It's like, it's like the fork from Stephen Sausage Roll, actually. Playing with magnets is fun. You're having a positive experience? I'm just attracted to them. I really don't know my north from south when puns are involved. Understandable, it's not your field of study. I'll have to iron out the bad ones. Good, I don't want a mon monopole e on them. Yeah, both parents are face palming. I think that's the other parent. She has eyelashes. I think that's the mom. I originally interpreted them as having like another, like a, a second nerdy brother or something in the family. So I was like, I don't. Like, they just showed up in frame out of nowhere after not being in frame for a few levels. Why, why am I doing that? Once I put it there, I can't escape. I obviously need to do this first. Oh, you are in my way. There we go. Oh. This is a problem, isn't it? So you can't rotate when it's attached, really. Aren't you interesting? That means I have to grab you from this side, doesn't it? Which raises the question of how do I get in range? There we go. Well, I still, some. I mean, it's we've been we this is this has been going on for long enough that somebody will have commented on it by now, probably. But I'm just like, how? Why are they cooking strawberries? <laughs> I still am fixated on this subject. Okay. Hmm. Probably what I was supposed to do? Possibly. Oh my god, there's three sticks, though. That's, like, actively a problem. Okay. This one's gonna get interesting. You know what? No. Let's not light them on fire for a while. And just deal with how we're gonna get this one cooked first. There we go. Now I can put it back and ignore it for the rest of the level. And we can do what I did a moment ago. There we go. It's just satisfying to take the obvious approach, watch it fail, then iterate, and then be like, aha, this is where you go from there. Over and over again. Um, so I need to get the magnet to face the right direction. Should be easy, was easy, I can confirm, is easy. Gotcha. Now we're simultaneously dealing with new mechanics and not new mechanics because we still, the stick still works the same. But yeah, there was no mar there was no marshmallow, and moving a marshmallow around on a fixed interval with metal sticks was like where the whole thing started. But now we have some puzzles that don't have the metal stick and don't have the marshmallow. So while the control scheme has uh, has gone unchanged, uh, every puzzle element had been replaced by something else. That's interesting to me. Yeah. 
and then burning. There we go. That's what I was going for. Just had to rotate the other side. Sweet and sour. Is broccoli sour? Is that a word that describes the taste of broccoli? I don't know if I'd agree with that. Well, it's trapped, so I lose. <laughs> yeah, so I can't hit the broccoli that way. Can technically go this way for the moment. Kind of. Gurg. Not feeling good about that one. So you can only rotate them in 90 degree intervals, so if in 90 degrees something's gonna land on nothing, then you're trapped. You can't go all the way around. So I can't just 180 of this from here. Not sure yet that I want that there, there long term, so I'm not committed to lighting it yet. Well, shit. I want to get in there and scoop up the broccoli, but it's not going to happen, is it? Maybe I should have committed to lighting it from the get-go. Then swoop back around and do the same thing. Leaves you a bit trapped, don't it? There we go. Just had to zigzag around a bit. It's one of those things where the solutions often... The, the thing you're going for seems relatively simple in, in general, but then you're committed to your bizarre movement style and have to work around that for the entire game, one way or another. There we go. Just an oddly little satisfying one. Aha! Pine Peak Trail. We're getting there. I, I can do this slightly cleaner, by the way. Oh, never mind. It kicked me out. So you can do it like this, which is oddly satisfying. You can just go up, down, up, down, and that'll take care of itself. Yeah! Pointless iteration. But it's not pointless if you're having fun. Right? 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 Tell me we're having fun! Should I have done that? I'm not convinced I should have done that. There we go. That's more or less what I need to do. I'm like, I never cooked the other side, and that's a problem. Um... Hi. How do you do? Okay, so they're both over there. This entire wall is covered in logs, which is definitely going to become a problem at some point. That's like the point of everything. Gotcha. Now what? Okay, so that's not really panning out. I 
We can fully cook like this, but then we get trapped. No, we don't. Yes, we do, though. We do and don't in that uh, it gets us into a trap where this thing's the same thing we're holding on to again. We probably need the tomatoes first for some reason. Oh! That was peculiar, but also killed me. Interesting. That's not how I expected that to work. I thought that we were going to, uh, uh, because we were pushing against the tomatoes, I thought that it was going to take the... I thought we were going to drop the broccoli and pick up the tomatoes instead. But no, it actually pushed the tomatoes. Which is honestly probably not great news for us. Let me test something, because we might be trying to learn, like, a new behavior. Ah. That could be incredibly- that's definitely going to be important. So whenever there's a stick, you can manually remove yourself from... the magnetic object. That is important. Isn't it? I need to drag it, like, the other way or something. Let's see. That might work. No. Yes? Yes. Okay. I'm like, I need to- I need to be able to pull it away when I get there. But I need to deal with the fact that it's facing the wrong way. Remind me why we came to- to a desert? Because hot weather is much better than cold weather. I disagree, emphatically. It's much easier to warm up than cool down. Easy for you to say, you're wearing a beanie. So, bring a beanie? I will 100% agree, cold is better than hot. Because it is so much easier to warm up than cool down. Speaking as somebody who lives in California and questionable levels of air conditioning available. Uh, fucking 100 degree every day is not a happy time. Whereas it's cold all the time now and I'm like, eh, clothes. I just put clothes and blankets, everything's fine. It's all fine. Obviously, everyone can one-up you with their like, I live in the worst part of the world and I gotta tell you that you're wrong. If you think it's cold now, what about my negative 75 degree Fahrenheit nightmare hellscape that I live in? Like, yeah, we get it, international audience. You're international. You've got so many diverse upbringings. And I'm saying this in a weirdly facetious tone for some reason. Um, I, this went horribly. I'm definitely trapped. Um, this is going to be one of those weird ones again. Okay. It feels like a good idea for reasons I'm not entirely sure of yet. But this one's trapped, isn't it? Yeah, going up there is actually a huge trap because you can't get back out. Le unless... Something like that, perhaps. Them sweet tricks. Super trap, though. Nope, that's not gonna work. Doing something wrong here. Let's see, um... I'm off to a terrible start at processing this one. Um... I don't want to make this one go up through here, because then it gets trapped where it's impossible to get it out, mainly because this one's always in the way. And I can't rotate it, and I can't pit rotate it out, because in order to do that, th this would somehow have to, like, disappear. Because their sticks can't cross via magic. 
But could that be the trick? Ooh. For now, the stick is inverted. Now I'm curious. But I don't think there's much more I can do with that. Alright, well those are cooked now. Congrats. Unfortunately, I've doomed myself and everyone in my world. I'm gonna rotate you. Now you're fully cooked, which is nice. But that traps me. Yeah, I'm kind of SOL at that point, aren't I? Where would I go from there? Like, that can't rotate, it can't move. And there's just one completely raw one on the end. Paradoxically, these ones that have the fewest mechanics are the most confusing. Because when you have uh, a bunch of, like, magnets and buckets and weird stuff going on, uh, there's, like, a restrictiveness to the level design that le leads you to like, being able to sort of read the level to find what the solution is. It's these ones that are weird. It's suddenly way harder to interpret what, they're, what they expect of you when the mechanics are thus. And here I am on my way to the same solution again without any of the ac any actual progress. So good job, me. Yeah. Got to deal with the fact that this is uncooked. So maybe I shouldn't be in such a hurry to fully cook that one, since it seems to get in the way. Yeah, I can't get that away, because I want to push it sideways, so that goes there and that goes there. But that's not how the rotation works. Yeah, this one's screwing with me a little bit. Might be my- might be time for my first break from this game soon, because I'm starting to get sleepy. I think it's the music, honestly. The music's slowly wearing me down. Rotating traps you. I'm noticing that it's easiest to cook with these two down here. So I'm trying- I'm wondering if I can get the top two to face that direction. But I'm not 100% sure on how I would go about that anyway. Whoops. Manual roll. I just did the same thing again, didn't I? Rotate from there, perhaps? Still doesn't work. The wrong side is cooked for me to be able to do this part. That could almost be part of the, clue, the trick, but I need to cook it still. That's the wrong side, though. But if I rotate around like this, it gets cooked on that side. No. That can't work because it needs to if I'm if I'm trying to rotate it needs to be uncooked on that side when it goes in.
Hmm. I've got to just be off to the wrong start or something at this point, right? Like I'm just starting the entire thing wrong? That still kills you. I think I took a different path that way that time technically, but still led to the same result. Interesting. Ooh, interesting. That worked. Kind of. But you need to put be pushed that way to continue. Ah. Uh, now I've got the problem where that's fully cooked, so I can't escape. Damn it. Just wondering where I'm taking where I'm making the misstep. It feels like I need all that air that space open. And this only gets cooked if you get pushed, right? No, maybe. Both sides of that, of that one have to be cooked before I go on. But it doesn't have to be pushed manually at the very least. There we go. Now it's not both cooked on the bottom side, so I can actually continue. Now I might be onto something. Maybe. Like this? Ah, sweet release. <laughs> Alright, let's take a break. This the slow the slow sleepy music is actually making me feel sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> 